morning. Uh, so I thought I'd give you a little review of the Jag and the I-Pace because I have loved it. Um, and it's time, alas, we have to go back. So I'll just open it. Look, I love this. The handles come out so sleek. Uh, I'll get in. Do, 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 do. Um, now, a, a couple of my um, friends who have had the opportunity to see the car have been like, ooh. Um, and uh, they say the sound of it is really impressive. So when it pulls up, apparently it sounds a little bit like a spacecraft, uh, which is cool. So let me just put it on. There we go, so it's on. Let me just close the door. Da -da! So it stops beeping at me angrily. Um, so yeah, it's just been brilliant. I've really enjoyed having it. It's beautiful to drive. Um, <laughs> once again, there's no power delivery issue, so it goes really fast, really quickly. Um, and it's just been a joy. Uh, so you can see 113 miles uh, left on the battery at the moment. I have to admit, I've not had the best time when it comes to charging it. Uh, never made it to the super fast chargers. Um, they aren't really close enough to where I am. And I know the infrastructure is getting better all the time, but at the minute, you're just a bit like, oh, okay, right, really need to plan this. And then you have to hope that the charging points are free, working, um, and then go fast enough. Yesterday, I tried to charge it twice and didn't have much joy either time. Uh, the first one, it just kept saying it was initializing. The second time, it did charge, but for about 50, well, 50 minutes. And I think I got about 3%, so not ideal. Right, so what about the car? Well, as you can see, um, I mean, it's Jag spec. It's beautiful. There's loads of room in the back. It's got ISOFIX. Um, so that's good for little kiddly bums. Um, if I put it into reverse, you can see the surroundings camera. This one is incredible. Um, it just gives you a total bird's eye view of what you're doing. So you can judge things really well. Um, you can see obviously the rear and then you can see the mirror. You can either have it as the video or, there we go, almost a normal rear view mirror. Um, lots of functionality on it connects up with my phone really quickly and easily um, so yeah really happy with everything and I wanted to show you the boot because for a lot of people boot space is key so I can click the button here now it's not gonna like me because I've got the engine on let's switch that off um, boot space is key for a lot of people especially if you've got little people um, so let me just show you it's got a whacker of a boot so there we go charging cable you can see is in there um, it's quite low that's fine. Obviously seats go forward if you need them to. There's a little cubby hole in here, which keeps all your labels in and uh, all your leads and stuff in there. Um, so yeah, quite a big boot. Oh, I'll just put it back down again. So yeah, there we go. The Jaguar I-Pace uh, EV400 has, um, look at, <laughs> just wanna show you the rear end of it because it's fit. Uh, yeah, so I've really enjoyed having it. Thank you to the guys at Jaguar for lending it to me. Um, as you can see, it's got whopper tyres on it. It's got a beautiful front end on it too, with the dip that goes in. And uh, yeah, it's been ace. So if you were looking for an electric car, then <laughs> I could definitely recommend it. It's gorgeous. Um, it's been great fun to drive and I still, really really want to go electric that's the aim i suppose of all of this is at one point or another to to switch from my combustion engine to an electric and i think we're almost there infrastructure wise things happening daily now to improve it all so um yeah make the switch <laughs>